Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie Ultimate Casey Jones. And the special thing about this Casey Jones is he comes with an unmasked head. So let's take a look at the packaging here. As you can see at the top, Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Casey Jones. Here's the front of the package. We've got his hockey mask just chilling there. At the top, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by NECA. One side of the package, you can see Casey Joe with the mask on and with the mask off. Other side, he simply posed up, ready to go. At the bottom, got a bunch of credits and there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. And at the back, here's Casey in a bunch of different poses. Here's a little description. If anybody wants to read that, go ahead and pause now. And here are the turtles. This is one of NECA's ultimate figures. The window box packaging, go ahead and open it up. On the inside flap, you can see Casey posed up, and here he is in the package. We've got the unmasked head, the masked head, a removable mask, a bunch of different hockey sticks and baseball bats, a golf club bag, and then a bunch of different hands. So, my buddy Corey found this at Walmart and picked it up for me. Much appreciated. This guy is a Walmart exclusive, I believe. They're coming in full cases of six. So with no further ado, let's open them up. All right, now that I got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out and he comes with quite a bit of stuff. He has six alternate hands, totally eight interchangeable hands. He's got two different heads. He also has a removable hockey mask. Not removable in the sense of you'd attach it to his head, but he could hold it at the side like he just took it off. That is the only different stuff from this release from the two pack is the unmasked Casey head and the mask. He also comes with a golf club bag, two baseball bats, a cricket paddle bat. He has two hockey sticks, one's a goalie stick, and a golf club. But before we take a look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Casey Jones, played by Elias Codius. Now, originally, they weren't able to acquire his likeness rights for the first release. That's why he only came with the mask on his face. Judith Hogue, who played April O'Neil, she did a series of web episodes, kind of going over her figure. She mentioned talking to Elias, convincing him, do this for the fans. I guess he didn't really like the idea of having a figure of him. Didn't think people would want it. But boy, is he wrong. They did a fantastic job with that head. So let's take a look at him. Here's his hockey mask. This is how it was in the package. I mean, this is sort of the preferred look for him, at least when he's in action. But when he's not, he wouldn't be wearing this thing. Strapped across his long hair. He's got that vest over his white sort of sweatshirt. Then he's got sweatpants on, single jointed knees, single jointed elbows, nice gloves, some tennis shoes. It's a very good looking figure, but for me, the fact that I'm not like crazy excited for him I have 90% of this guy from the previous release, that unmasked head here, that's what we're really in for. And before we go any further, I know this is what everyone wants to see. Here's a close up look at his unmasked face. I think they absolutely killed it. I think it looks great. It is worth the second purchase, although it definitely would have been nice to have had it included the first time. NECA did say that was their original goal, but it simply just didn't work out. And then, here he is, broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's take a look at his accessories, and let's start off with his hands. He's got a total of eight different hands, four pair. Here he is, with his first pair of hands, these are his fists. Then, with his second pair of hands, his right hand is sort of a pointing hand, and his left hand looks like he could hold something, looks like he could hold his mask pretty nicely. Then he has two gripping hands. And then his last pair of hands, it's another pair of gripping hands, and it has a slightly smaller grip. Now let's look at his heads. He has two of them, one with the hockey mask on, and one unmasked. Here he is, with his first head. This one has the hockey mask on. It looks great. It looks pretty tough and menacing. The detail is very nice. You can even see his mouth through the front there. And here's his unmasked head. This looks even better. Home run from NECA. They knocked this guy out of the park. Then we've got this hockey mask. 
At first when I saw it, I thought it was going to be some sort of cloth straps that would wrap around his face. Pretty cool either way. You can have this thing hanging up on the wall. You can have him holding the top there. Here it is. Next to some Friday the 13th Jason hockey masks. Here's Casey holding the mask. And like I said before, you can attach it to the wall. Imagine Casey in his apartment, and he's got that mask just hanging in his living room. Now let's look at his weapons. Here's his cricket bat or paddle. It looks pretty good. You can sort of tell it's wooden. It's got wrap or tape around it, flat on one side. And then the handle here also has more wrap around it. Here's Casey holding the cricket bat. Then he has two baseball bats. They're brown. They've also got some wrap around the handle and up top. Here's Casey holding one bat, then holding two. Next is golf club. This is what he took out Tatsu with at the end of the film. It's pretty thin and mine's a little bit warped. So you can see the base here, a little bit of sculpting on the handle. Then the silver part goes all the way to the top there. And here he is holding and Gary is swinging the golf club. Here are his hockey sticks. Both look pretty good. First one here looks like it's supposed to say starter. Got some wrap around it. Scope detail, pretty decent. Then we got the larger goldie version. You can see what it sort of says behind the wrap. Wrap is worn, kind of dirty. Detail is very nice. Here's Casey holding one of the hockey sticks and then holding his goalie hockey stick. And his last accessory to check out is going to be his golf bag, done in kind of a reddish brown color. It's got the strap here, very bendable, and it's actually going to hold the majority of his accessories. Here's Casey with the golf bag on his back. Can't really tell too much from the front, but if you spin him around, there it is. I always take the strap and try to tuck it under his hair just to keep it a little bit more in place. And as amazing as it is, he can hold all of his weapons in the golf bag at the same time. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height from bottom to the top of his head, standing at about 7.0 which is tall, which is going to translate to a hair below 18 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Start with his head here, of course it can rotate from side to side, can look up and down about that far, can tilt his head a little bit from one side to the other, but the hair obstructs much more of that. Shoulders on a ball joint, goes up about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. No bicep cut, he does have single jointed elbows, going a little bit more than 90 degrees, and there's rotation. His wrist, rotation, and hinged. His torso seems to be one solid piece. He's got a kind of ball joint in his waist area. Rotate around, go forward and back, but doesn't really hold any of those poses. I mean, it can rotate around, but go forward and back. It's not going to stay there. Legs, they go out about that far. Does a splits. Ball joint can rotate independently into the ball. Sweatpants here. Legs go forward about that much. Back, not too much. Single jointed knees, 90 degree bend, rotation. Then his ankle here, go forward and back a little bit. Can tilt and rock, sort of rotate at the same time. And I wanted to check out the differences between the Ultimate Unmasked Casey Jones and the original two-pack release. The obvious difference is you're gonna get this unmasked head and mask with the new version. But I was curious if there were any sculpting differences beyond that. So looking at these guys, their feet, they seem to be exactly the same shoes, the sweatpants exactly the same, his shirt, torso, chest, all the same, the hands are the same, but if you look at the elbows, they are considerably different. The older one has double jointed elbows, and the newer one has single jointed elbows. In this situation, I prefer the single jointed. I absolutely hate when NECA makes double jointed elbows and knees like this with that piece in between. It looks funky, and frankly it looks just awful. So overall, I prefer the unmasked Casey Jones for a bunch of different reasons. Beyond that, there are no differences between the elbows and the head. 
Here's Casey Jones and Raphael fighting each other in the park. And then shortly after, here's Casey Jones and Raphael putting aside their differences, taking out this pack of foot soldiers. And here are all four of the turtles fighting the foot with Casey Jones. You can see Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo down there. And then Raphael and Casey Jones up top. Here's Casey in the city streets after he just took on his squad of foot soldiers. Now let's check him out. Next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Here's the unmasked Casey Jones, next to the two-pack Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise. Here's Casey, next to the four turtles. Then, here he is next to April O'Neil. This unmasked Casey looks great next to her. And here, next to the recently released Loot Crate exclusive Danny Pennington. Danny is crazy short compared to Casey. Then, next to Master Splinter. Here are all the different good guy characters they've made for the 1990 Turtles film. I would definitely say my collection is complete on the hero side. If only they'd make a Tatsu, my collection would also be complete on the villain side. Here's Casey, next to Shredder and the Foot Clan. Like I said before, give me a Tatsu and I'll be very happy. Neck has flat out said it's not going to happen. I'm pretty sure the actor wouldn't allow them to make a figure of him. And in case you were wondering if you could put the unmasked Casey Jones head on a foot soldier body, you sure can. At the end of the film, he infiltrated their base, took out a foot soldier, and put his outfit on. That's how he rescued Splinter. Here's Casey next to the Hamato Yoshi versus Oroko Saki 2-pack. Then, next to Tokan Rezar from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. And here's Casey next to all three different variations of the Super Shredder. That concludes my movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. Really the only thing I want, well the only few things I want, would be Tetsu, an April from TMNT2, and Kino. I'd be very content if that happened. Hell, I'd buy Vanilla Ice too, but that's just me. And here's Casey, next to my entire NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle animated collection. Then, here are all the different turtle characters from DC Directs. Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated film line. And here, next to a video game slash figure. Now let's check him out. Next to some other action figures wearing hockey masks. Here he is, with a few different NECA, Jason, Friday the 13th figures. And here, next to a Mattel Sportsmaster figure. His accessories will double up for Sportsmaster nicely. Then, with a Jazzwares Fortnite Rabbit Raider. Now let's check him out. Next to some action figures from different various companies to see how he fits in, both scale and style wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Since he's a NECA figure, they're typically the 7 inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect and we're way smaller. Here he is with some of his NECA brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from NECA toys, all 7 inch scale. And now, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures. And here he is. Next is some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next is some McFarlane toys. And here, next is some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Then, next is some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, next is some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112th Collective Cloth Soft Goods action figures. Then, next is some Mattel. DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here he is, next to some Matrix figures. Then, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, this is a very nice figure. I think the likeness is spot on and fantastic. The hair, the face, they did an excellent job with this figure. This figure feels like an improvement over the two-pack version. I prefer the single jointed elbows because they look a lot better in this figure. If I were to rate this guy, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, which surprised me a little bit. I was kind of annoyed they were re-releasing him this way because I already had 90% of the figure 
and it would have been nice to have simply got the unmasked head from the get-go. But they did such a good job with this, it's still getting a pretty high score. His accessories are absolutely fantastic, a ton of hands, his weapons are incredible, so many of them. The articulation is pretty good. Yes, I would like double jointed elbows and knees, but if they're going to look in that weird neck away that they sometimes do, just make them single jointed. It probably would have made the sweatpants look pretty bad too if they had double jointed knees. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.